Here's the 16P block. Let's hack it and make a 2 in series, a 2S8P block. So I'll slide this out. So when you buy the 8P2S block, this is, this is what you get. Okay, let's go ahead and put the cells in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with the polarity going one way. And I'm going to switch colored cells here just to show you. Now I'm switching polarities, negatives up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there we go. You wouldn't, of course, do this on your battery. I'm just showing you the division in the battery. Okay, and here's the little arrows, the little notches. We'll find the notches here, line them up. Make sure that the split goes where we split the polarity. If you get this wrong and you put this on, put your hands on the plates. If they start getting warm, you've made a mistake. Take the plate off real quick and figure out your mistake and fix it. It's, it's that easy. Like, for example, if I did something like this. See my mistake? You can fix it easily and just pull the plate off. All right? Let's assume we never make mistakes, any of us. Okay. And there we are. There it is assembled. Now you take a look at this uh, through the top holes and you slide it one way or the other to Make sure all the punch holes line up through the center, through the holes of the middle of the batteries. And this one too, you can slide it pretty easily. Alright, we've got a 8 in parallel and 2 in series. So one of these is negative and one of them is positive, so we know we're going to need a power lead on it. And let's just say that we were hooking this to another battery block, we would do something like that and we could hook it in series to the next battery block. But we know we're going to need a power lead over here too. Uh, all these um, come with the battery block, these ring terminals. Okay, in the middle we really need to be sure that these two plates never touch, because if they do you'll be shorting out the battery. That's why we put a nylon bolt between them and a big nylon uh, washer on top. Okay. And the rest are just nylon bolts. Okay, and now we'll go to the bottom. Put a washer on. Push the nut on. Hold it with your finger and tighten the bolt. That way you don't cross thread it. You certainly don't want to force any nut onto a bolt, but particularly these nylon ones. Okay. Get a washer. Okay. Okay, got all those on. Now we'll tighten them up. I'm holding this ring terminal up in a good position while I'm tightening. go. It's that easy. We have just made a very attractive looking 8P2S battery. As in all battery blocks, these caps are loose. That's so you can attach the next battery block using threaded rod 
and when you tighten up the nuts on the ends of the threaded rod, you won't break the connection with the metal plates and the batteries. Well, let's go put some power through this and see what it does. Here is the 8P2S block. I've uh, changed the cells there just so you can see how it's configured. We're going to be plugging it into this Tenergy, which uh, there's the amp meter right there. The Tenergy is powered by this battery block right here, a little magnetic connection. And there's the resistors that are going to be providing the load. All right, it's all hooked up. And the Tenergy says we're getting 77 amps at 386 watts at just 5 volts. It's a lot of power to be coming. 75 amps. So let's check temperatures. Battery block's about, oh, 95, 96 degrees. See where I'm shining it right there? The cells are 104. At 105 and the cells down here are hot because they're green cells they don't have quite the capacity so the, this is cells that are heating up this the top of the battery block here we're still drawing 65 amps I know you can't smell it but I smell these resistors cooking they are just frying that piece of wood underneath and yeah, because they're over 500 degrees because we are putting out 328 watts from this one little battery. Alright, time to cut this experiment.